It might be hard for you to believe that once upon a time I was a little girl. I grew up in an old farmhouse in a small town on Lake Erie in western New York State. There were acres of great vineyards behind our big barn. And one year, a field of strawberries beside the house. Down the lane was an apple tree that had three different kinds of apples on it. My father went to his office at the Great Peace Factory every weekday and played golf on weekends. He believed in germs, and we had to keep our hands clean and gargle a lot. My mother managed the household, cooked good plain meals and very good desserts, and took care of her three daughters, Barbara, me, Martha, and Anne. She was a handsome woman with a Roman nose, as she called it, hazel eyes, handsome glasses, and wonder of wonders, red hair. She called it Titian and complained when the motor vehicle office made her use Auburn on her driving license. At the time of my birth, she wrote a letter to my great aunt and signed it with my name. She wrote, My father and I look so much alike. I'm awfully glad I haven't red hair like mother's. Really? I thought her red hair was really beautiful, and I loved to brush and comb it. I often wish mine were like hers. She died of cancer when I was 17. Her best friend asked the nurse to cut off her long braid, and she gave it to me. I have kept it for 62 years in a wooden box that says Chocolate Shop, Los Angeles, which is where my parents were married. Eventually I had three daughters and a son, none with red hair. What a disappointment. Now I am a grandmother with six granddaughters and two of them have red hair.